Mortal Kombat 1 has been out for almost a whole year now, and it still seems that to this day, everyone's biggest gripe is cameos. Out of all the changes NetherRealm has done between their games from Mortal Kombat 9 to X to 11, now to Mortal Kombat 1, people seem to hate cameos, which is interesting to me because in every variation of the game, they bring new features, new mechanics to the game. Mortal Kombat 9 was a whole reboot, and everyone loved it. It's honestly just so good. But with new games come new changes, which is funny because like that's the point of making a new game, right? Like if you make a new game, but all you do is make the old game, there's no really point in making a new game because then you might as well just play the old game if nothing has changed. Now, does NetherRealm take it a bit far sometimes? Sure. Like in Mortal Kombat X, we had variations and that was a really cool, unique system. They took that away in Mortal Kombat 11. Instead, how'd you choose your special moves per character? And in Mortal Kombat 1, we now have cameos, which are technically special moves you give to your character. They just happen to have a face and a special animation called cameos. But again, people seem to just hate cameos. And I just have to figure out why. And it's perfect because over on the Mortal Kombat 1 Reddit, we have user Pathfinder the Blue says, for players that hate the cameo system in MK1, why is that? Big old paragraph here, but you can just basically get the premise of the question is, why do you hate cameos? This is Mortal Kombat 1's take on assist slash summon system, they say here. But I agree here, like some of my favorite, you know, include Tremor, Chameleon, Sub-Zero, Movado, Mataro, Jax, and Janet. There are a lot of really cool cameos that do really fun stuff. So why is it that most people are, uh, feels like a lot of people just seem to just hate the cameo system. So subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat about one and fighting game content and let's dig into these answers and while we go over the answers too let me know down below like what do you not like about cameos or do you like them at all or do you do you hate them as well and don't just say they suck like give me a valid actual reason but without further ado let's go ahead and go over these reasons people have given over on the reddit this top one here just says personally i just never liked the whole assist system in any game i like my fighting games to be one-on-one -on -one, and i dislike when another character jumps in does a single move and then leaves that to me just feels like a personal preference. There are a lot of people that don't like that system, but that doesn't mean that it's a bad system in of itself. It just means that you don't like it. I mean, they go on to say that right here. They say, I get that other people like it and that's fine. It's just not for me. That's fair. Another top answer here says, the problem isn't the cameos themselves. So what it does to the other characters, almost all of the roster wouldn't be viable without a good cameo. Exceptions may be Peacemaker, Johnny, Homelander, Kenshi. I can kind of see that, which ruins the meta in my opinion, causing the main character roster to play totally being reliant on the cameo system. Uh, yeah, I kind of see that, but I mean, to be honest with you, the, the problem like with that statement is like in any fighting game, there are characters that have weaknesses and every character does have one. They have their strengths, they have their weaknesses. So cameos are a way, I guess, yes, to, you know, enhance your weakness and make it better or, or go the other way and just completely enhance your strength and make that even better as well. So I guess that like you could say, oh, well, Homelander doesn't require a cameo, but you know, Liu Kang does. It's like, well, that's, is that bad? Then if you're playing Liu Kang that, you know, in your head requires a cameo why is it a bad thing to just use that cameo then i don't know i'm having a hard time seeing that one but another top comment says i don't hate it but here's my perspective it is extremely unbalanced some cameos are useless with 90 percent of the roster and most of them aren't as good i like the top five cameos this part i kind of understand yeah there i feel like there are cameos that are just better overall like there are some cameos uh you know chameleon janet serena cyrax there, there are there are cameos that are just again in my opinion that i've seen in my experience just better than others that do what other cameos do as well but they do it better so it's like why would i use i don't know sonya when chameleon offers what she offers but also more and maybe even better i do get that i wish there was a bit more balance in the cameos themselves i wish every cameo had a couple different variations like you know chameleon does or tremor does and and we got to choose what, you know what they do and what variations we might want to use for them i can kind of see that part too again it's it's a uh, but that's just more of a balancing thing right like any fighting game ever in fighting game history has problems with balancing even just the base roster itself like any game that you're gonna have the top tier characters you're gonna have the bottom tier characters well now we have cameos and there are better cameos yeah i, I get it it's kind of an issue but like is that why you hate cameos though and then this one says because i don't play mk to play an assist fighter when i want an assist fighter i'll play one of the six thousand other options uh i mean i i know six thousand is more of an exaggeration but like it, it, it is an assist fighter in a way yes i i do understand that but that's just what mortal kombat one is if you don't like that again i totally get it but also the assist fighter here no one's making you use the cameo you know what i'm saying like you can play the entire fight and not 
use your cameo at all but then you can't be mad at your opponent or you know me for choosing to use a cameo because it's my choice of of utilizing the tools that i'm given in the game Th again this right here is just more of, of a personal preference you don't like assist fighters that's cool that's what you like that or you don't like that's that's awesome everyone's entitled to their own opinion on what they do and do not like so if you don't like assist fighters then yeah i could see why you might not like mortal kombat 1 but i guess that's the biggest kind of argument we're seeing so far is just that cameos make mortal kombat Combat one in the assist fighter category and people don't like assist fighters so it's not that they don't like cameos i guess they don't because they don't like assist fighting games that's the whole argument i'm seeing uh, out of out of most of these comments here it feels cheap commit to a team assist fighter or do a 1v1 i mean that's what they're kind of doing though Th these uh, these arguments just don't make much sense in my opinion i love this comment right here too they think the cameo characters would be in the main roster if there wasn't a cameo system which is wrong they it wouldn't be in the game at all i 100 agree so many people were like oh just make serena fully playable just make darius fully playable make tremor fully playable which i totally agree with but if we didn't have the cameo system they wouldn't be in the game at all except for those that maybe are in the story mode sure i'm a big tremor fan i was really disappointed we did not get him as a main character or a main roster character in mortal kombat 1 but I, it is cool to see him as a cam. Like we still see him in the game some way, somehow. Like there are characters, like it says right here, I don't think anyone really protested for Darius to be in the game, but it's still cool that he's here. A cameo role fits him very well. I agree. Like there are characters that we, I think us as the community don't really care that they're, that they, if they like, if they were in the game, we don't really care, but it's cool that they're a cameo. Like that is cool. Dude, I, as I'm scrolling here, I'm just seeing the same answers over and over again, it feels like. Because it's different and complex, goes against the grain of their nostalgic preference and forces people outside their comfort zone. That makes no sense. It's different and complex. It's, it's a brand new game. Every new game, every sequel is gonna, is gonna bring its new features, its complexities, to the game itself i'm not trying to call you out sir but because it's different and complex that kind of sounds like a skill issue i don't mean that in like a rude or bad way but like saying it's complex that's like well then what you're saying is you want the game just to be easy like because they added some complexity to the game now that makes you not like that feature because it's hard don't play other fighting games then man because other fighting games are way harder than mortal kombat and this is probably one of my favorite comments right here literally every other fighting game has at least one tag assist game this is mortal kombat's attempt at it i agree for one love it no mk game has been like the previous ones so i find it funny that people complain about things as they aren't like the old games forgetting the complacency doesn't sell on people People always want the next new thing while also not wanting anything to change i couldn't have said it better myself people want something new but then when they get something new they're like oh this sucks i wanted the old thing no you didn't you've been begging for something new you finally got it and now you're upset you got the new thing and because you want the old thing just go back and play the old thing then right here the complacency doesn't sell 100 if they just brought back the same goddamn game and the same features every single title they would never sell a new game it's the same reason that mortal kombat does guest characters guest characters sell more Mortal Kombat. Whether you want to accept it or not, guest characters absolutely sell Mortal Kombat. People have bought Mortal Kombat X because they wanted to play Alien versus Predator. They wanted to play Jason. They wanted to play Leatherface. People bought Mortal Kombat 11 not because they love Mortal Kombat, but because they love Robocop and Terminator and Rambo. So they bought Mortal Kombat 11 wanting to play those games or those characters. I mean, they, 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 they wanted to play Rambo. They wanted to play Robocop. So they bought Mortal Kombat 11. And same thing with the features and the mechanics of the game. They're going to bring in new features of the game. Then when they get the new features which they've been begging for oh bring something new and fresh and unique to the next title okay we have something unique called cameos f the cameos it's like what you've been begging for something new here it is what why, why can't you be happy <laughs> just, i feel like fans who hate it can't even understand how to properly use cameos <laughs> for, for real dude honestly simply because there's no ability to disable it of course there's not why would they give you the option to disable their most iconic feature of their new title that makes no sense like imagine trying to disable variations in mortal kombat x this makes no sense honestly guys as i'm scrolling through this right right here in the these answers that people have given the common thread that i'm finding is they just don't like assist fighters that to me just sounds like a personal preference which is very valid by the way sure if you don't like assist fighters then yeah all, by all means you don't like mortal kombat 1 that's totally fine and then the only other argument i'm seeing through these comments is it's unbalanced which to a point i could agree with there are definitely 
you know like i said earlier better cameos than others so at that point it's like yeah so you're, what you're just saying though is you want more buffs more nerfs you want more balance between the characters and the cameos but that goes along with any fighting game we always want more balance with all of our characters with all of our fighting games and that comes with time and to be honest there's always going to be top tier characters top tier cameos in this case there's always going to be the top tier choices but at that point you should be playing who you want to play right like unless you're a goddamn pro player who's trying to win thousands or millions of dollars by playing the game just play who you want to play who do you enjoy playing and i think the same goes for cameos if you enjoy using uh, motaro as a cameo then what's stopping you from just using motaro he's like mid-tier who cares just use him those are really the two points i see in this case and as you guys can see this has got a lot of feedback people have been answering this left and right and i've been scrolling for what feels like forever and the only two valid answers i'm seeing is the balance of the cameos and people just don't like assist fighters okay i i, I don't see much other reason why people don't like like cameos so with that being said if you made it this far in the video you gotta let me know down below do you like cameos in mortal kombat 1 do you not like if you don't like them like why give me an actual valid reason if it's a personal preference that's fine that is valid but state that like hey i just don't like it i understand how it's cool and fun but it's just not for me and that is a valid answer you look dumb if you're just like oh they just they're just so stupid they, they suck that looks stupid but let me know down below your thoughts on the cameos in mortal kombat 1 i'm a big advocate for them i love cameos i I think they're a great a new addition to the game i guess i'm kind of the odd man out because i i really enjoy them and it seems many people do not like cameo oh with all that being said my dude subscribe here for more mortal kombat content take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more mortal kombat 1 news guides reactions and more